Hi, everybody. Welcome to Patriots Happy Place. I hope you are doing well today. Um, if you are not, let me know in the comment section. I would love to pray for you. So let me know there, okay? Um, so welcome again. If you are a new subscriber, welcome in. And if you are a returning one, thank you so much for continuing to come back and, you know, supporting me. <laughs> I really appreciate everybody that comes and watches my my videos. I don't know why you do, but I'm glad you do it. <laughs> so today I want to um, give you an update. I had decided last year back in um, December that I wanted to um, do the uh, fruit garden. Actually, it was not in December. It was actually like in November yeah november i wanted to do the fruit garden uh crochet along uh now dana from uh wanderlust crochet is doing um this crochet along and but it's an old crochet along okay so if you click into um dana's i'll try to remember to link her uh her channel and even the introduction to this uh crochet along i will do that now it's called the fruit garden and there are free tutorials um, for each element in the um, in the blanket, and um, there's also a free pattern. If you go to, I think it's Janie's website. I don't know. I can't remember. But I, like I said, I'll try to link Dana's um, channel in the description. So let me show you. This is the, I I actually did buy the book. And um, I wanted to show you the book. This is what it looks like. Now I've got some stuff marked in here, but this is the book. Now there's four different colorways you can choose from. This is Love is Enough, Dusk. Um, this is called Recipe One, I think. I don't know. And then this is called the Red uh, Red House. Now I am doing this one well i would say inspired this is inspired me so i'm not using the exact same colors i'm not even using the same fiber i'm using wool instead of this organic cotton so um now i want to caution everyone who is making this who is who is um either reading the pattern um or uh bought the book it is written in UK terminology, okay? So don't do what, you know, because if it says double crochet, they're talking a single crochet, okay? So just be real careful when you're, when you're um, reading the patterns and then transferring them into your, your um, stitches, okay? So let me show you, um, I want to show you the very first um, st stitch motif that is in the book or that that she shows you how to do. It is called the forget me not. And um, here are the pictures for each of the different colorways. Okay, this one right here is the one that I personally am doing. Not the, quite the exact same colors, but that's kind of what mine will look like. Um, it's got a little flower and then green around it for the leaves. And then it will have the um, basic background that color, okay? Um, and let me see here. If you will notice, it's this particular motif right here. This motif. So. This is what I have so far. Now, I've finished all the green. I have yet to weave in all my ends. Uh, that's my next step. But I'm doing them kind of like a factory, you know, line style. So here's the, here is the, um, let me, let me do this. Let me wrap this up and kind of like put it like that. So that is the flower. That's the flower part. Isn't that pretty? I just love it. I just love it. And I'm pretty sure that some of the other motifs start with this and have different designs added onto it. So, yeah, 
isn't that pretty? So it's got the green, and then this is the background color that I'm gonna be using. So it will be like, let me do this. Can you see how vibrant and pretty that's gonna, it's gonna pop, it's gonna look so pretty, right? So my next step is to sew in all the ends, and then I'm gonna be putting the background, and that's gonna take a little bit of time because um, it, it goes from this big to a square about that big. So that, you know, it's gonna go from a circle into a square. So that is going to be the first eight motifs of my beautiful blanket. Now, there is no um, time limit on these. Thank you. Because I'm just not feeling things right now as far as like having a deadline. So I'm going to take my time and I'm going to work in all these ends sometime here in the next week. And then I'll start putting my per my purple. This is not purple, people. <laughs> this is blue. <laughs> so then, then I will be done and I will be ready to do my next motif, which I believe is called Columbine. And, um, but I'm not even going to look at it. I'm not going to look at it until I get these done, but I'm so excited. So what do you think? Are you working on this fruit garden crochet along? If you are, I would love to know all about it. Um, are you, um, are you on, um, uh, Dana's in Dana's group so that you're following along with her or are you doing this on your own what um color are what color mo not motifs what colorway are you doing or are you doing it all on your own and trying something brand new I'd love to hear about it so that is all I have for today I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and we'll talk to you soon bye-bye